Hi, I'm so glad to be able to talk to you guys today, even though I can't see you in person. And I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, being in a disguise. First thing I want to show you is this picture. Now, I would think all of you know who this is, but in case you don't, this is Michelle Obama. And her husband was the president for eight years. And Mrs. Obama, well, pretty much everybody knows her because she has done so much for our country and still does. Well, I have a funny story about Mrs. Obama. She one day decided that she needed to make a target run. I mean, don't we all? Well, you know, she's the former first lady and everybody knows who she is. But she didn't want to be in the store forever. So she did a little disguise. She put on some sunglasses. She put on a ball cap. Went in the store and was doing her shopping. She was almost to the end. She's just putting the last thing in a cart. Somebody comes down the aisle. Excuse me. She's like, oh no, here we go. And the lady said to her, honey, you're really tall. Could you get something off that top shelf for me? <laughs> and Michelle just laughed and she said, sure. She managed to get in and out of her target run, and nobody knew who she was. Well, the gospel lesson today is kind of the same thing. Two men were walking from one town to another. They were going to a town called Emmaus. And back then, everybody walked everywhere because there weren't any cars or bikes or anything. So they were walking, and they were all excited. And this gentleman came up and said to them, oh, what are you talking about? And they said, oh, we're talking about Jesus. And he said, Jesus? And they're like, really? You don't know who Jesus is? Don't you know? Just the other day on Friday, the authorities killed Jesus, and, and they hung him, and he died, and they put him in a tomb. And oh my gosh, didn't you hear that yesterday? The women went to the tomb, and they were going to get Jesus, you know, just be with his body. <laughs> his body was gone. But this is the best part. I can't believe you haven't heard this. There were angels in the tomb. Angels in the tomb, and the angels told the women that Jesus was risen. He was risen. That's why his body wasn't there. I just can't believe that you don't know about this. Well, they continued on, and they got to Emmaus. Now, back then, there weren't restaurants. So what you usually did, you if there was a stranger, you would invite the stranger to eat with you. Because... You know, there was no, there's nothing else to do, really. So they went in, and they sat down for dinner, and the stranger took some bread, and he broke the bread, and he blessed the bread. Oh, my gosh. Those two men, I would say the hat and the sunglasses came off. They're like, are you kidding me? You're Jesus. You're Jesus. You were walking and talking with us all the time, and we didn't know you were Jesus. Oh, my goodness. And they were so excited, and they turned to say more, and Jesus was gone. Can you imagine what those two men did the next day? They were probably running all over, yelling, we saw Jesus, we walked with Jesus, Jesus is risen. Well, this is kind of a really, really hard time for everybody. It's a lonely time. You're stuck in your house. It can be an annoying time. You're stuck with your sisters and brothers. But it's a hard time. But I want you to remember that even in this hard time, the gospel gave us good news, that Jesus is not dead. Jesus is risen. He's risen indeed. And for that we say, 